Today on Garden Fork, learn about foraging for mushrooms. We're right down the road from our house. Very exciting. Uh, the camera operator was coming home and she said, hey, I think there's some of those mushrooms that you like on a tree down the road. And we walked down and it's oyster mushroom nirvana here. Eureka. Uh, we have a previous video in our foraging series about oyster mushrooms, but this is pretty cool. So we're going to talk more about foraging for mushrooms, identification, it's mosquitoes, poison ivy, <laughs> and mushrooms. These are a little past their prime. Why do you say that? Um, they're a little wet. It's been raining a lot here. Uh, um, and they're not, really a lot. <laughs> it's, they're not real firm, but this will be, we're having hamburgers for July 4th, and this will be delicious tonight. This part of the mushroom is the flower of a much larger plant that is inside this tree. The mushroom roots, the mycelium, as it were, uh, it's called the mycelium, I kind of call it the mushroom roots, are, are around the bark and the soft wood of this tree. And when they want to flower to release spore to propagate their sp species, their plant species, that's when these things pop out and the mushroom spore comes out from between the gills here. You can do what's called a, a spore check to, that helps you identify mushrooms, which we're going to talk about here in our book. Um, but you can take a mushroom, put it uh, gill side down on white and black paper, and you'll see the spores um, that are kind of jumping off, as it were, the mushroom plant. This part of the mushroom releases the spore at a certain point in the life of the outer part, the flower essentially of the mushroom, and it goes and travels and lands on another host plant that it's super compatible with, and boom, it starts to grow again. This is a, this is like, this is like winning the lottery of mushrooms here. Let's talk about how you harvest mushrooms. Okay. First of all, you don't take them all. Uh, you always leave some for the plant to release its spore to make more of them. But what I found works best for me is a serrated steak knife. So we're going to take this clump here. I cut along the tree like that. There's a little bit of bark and stuff here. Just brush that off. They're great. Absolutely beautiful. Get a really good guidebook. This is the Audubon Audubon Guide to North American Mushrooms. They know what they're doing. It's got great, by the way, that was the oyster mushroom we were showing you, but tons of pictures here. Are those just edible ones or all of them? All of them. And then <laughs> all sorts of descriptions in the back with spore print, talking about spore prints and gill patterns and things like that. Um, some neat stuff in here. A really great book. There are, uh, and also get several because sometimes you're not quite sure and you can cross check it with another one. So identification book. The other key thing is to learn from somebody that already does it. Um, kind of going on your own and not knowing what you're doing. It's kind of a garden fork way, except when you're going for mushrooms, okay? Talk so, to somebody else who's alive. Who yeah, learn, through it. <laughs> learn from other people. So, like These are easily identifiable. They're very abundant around here, and we know what they are. When you're hunting for mushrooms, watch out for this. This is poison ivy. Don't touch it. Don't eat it. I see there are other shelf mushrooms on there already. Yeah, there's a lot of mushrooms that grow on dead trees that aren't edible, and, and they're hard actually. They're called a shelf mushroom. But these are oysters. Um, they're kind of caramel to a white buff color. They have the beautiful gills. Again, you can identify mushrooms by how the gills attach to the stem or to the tree. This has a really nice smell to it, and you'll get, you can identify by smell a lot when you uh, start to identify mushrooms. But again, double check what you're doing. Bring a professional, not a professional, uh, someone that knows what they're doing along. And um, if you want to learn about cooking mushrooms, we have a cooking mushrooms video as well. The link is below and at the end of the show here. But uh, if you like what we're doing here, would you give us a thumbs up, the little thumbs up thing right down there? Yum, huh? Is your mouth watering? This is great. This is just 
It's just free. This is part of nature's bounty. Again, <laughs> I mean, look up there. We left a bunch of the tree. Yeah, it's a whole lot. We took some of it. We're gonna leave a lot leave and it'll more. propagate. So if you like what you're seeing here, subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button there. And any questions or comments, leave them below. I try and answer almost everything that people leave. And uh, go out and do cool stuff. All right, then come back and tell me about it.